Okay, what are your opinions on Gigabyte's response to Long Hair Steve's video on their exploding PSUs? So that is <laughs> obviously Long Hair Steve from Gamers Nexus, uh, who we all know very well. So what are our opinions on Gigabyte's response? Well, I personally wasn't at all surprised by their response. It just seemed like the typical sort of response they'd go for. Um, downplay it as much as possible, uh, make a few promises that they're going to stand by their products and you know replace them, but then in regions where they're not really forced to do that, sort of just not do that. And yeah, I, I wasn't shocked by it, to be honest with you, uh, especially from a company like Gigabyte. Someone like MSI might have had a better response because they've had to deal with this a lot more more recently so hopefully they've learnt a few things uh it was kind of similar to the response we got from asus when we ran into problems with their like their tough uh 5700 xt series cards or 5700 series cards and the uh the strix series yep and even uh sort of similar to the uh the laptop guys from asus the, with the issue you ran into so companies that aren't that experienced with this stuff uh tend to go this way and their natural reaction is to downplay things or try and appease the customer base and hope that they sort of move on to something else and yeah yeah i think that's right so, so it doesn't surprise me it's a classic like not to this is not excusing gigabyte in how they acted at all it's just that sure. it's not surprising that when a company has sort of their first issue like this that they go into full-blown damage control mode because as you say mm -hmm. they just they don't have the experienced people in those positions to know the right way to handle this thing and yeah it causes brand damage for them. We're seeing lots of comments, not just on Games Nexus video, but on our video for unrelated Gigabyte products like monitors and so on. People talking about this saying, oh, Gigabyte's response to this PSU issue was totally unacceptable, so I'm not going to buy a Gigabyte product that's not even a PSU. It might be their graphics cards, motherboards, monitors, whatever. So, you know, it, I think it's disappointing that despite the fact that you know, we see these issues come up, you know, every every year or two, there's, you know, one brand does one bad thing and, and has to cop it over making poor quality products. But then it seems that most companies, unless it has happened to them specifically in the past before, they don't really learn their lesson. Mm -hmm. Like they don't look at other companies like yeah, yeah. Gigabyte's not looking at MSI going, oh, MSI handled that particular problem well, we should handle our problem well. It's all about you know, a lot of it comes down to like the pride in the company and those things, you know, we want to make sure that our our brand looks the best. We haven't run into those problems before, so hopefully we can get out of this without, you know, causing too much damage for us. And again, it always goes down, or effectively always goes down the exact same path, which is why it's why when the LG issue came up with LG and their stuff that happened with us with the editorial control stuff that I was surprised with how they handled it. It sounded, it seemed like they did actually learn lessons from other companies. Whereas again, with this gigabyte issue, it's kind of, yeah, unfortunately gone down the path that it has. And it's only going to cause more problems for them. Like going, mm -hmm. trying to challenge mm -hmm. Gamers Nexus testing and all, all those sorts of things in their responses. Yeah, again, it's just not going to end well. They're going to have to cop it. There's going to be heat for a while. And the only response from here really is just to make better products, do the best possible job they can with products and restore the trust of consumers over time by doing the best they can. So it's pretty much yeah, where it's uh, at. Like it also comes down to the people that are involved within the company. So, you know, I imagine the PSU division, I'm not sure what other components they handle or if it's sort of just a, a general sort of PC components person that handles all that sort of stuff. But, you know, the, as we found with ASUS, you know, the, the VGA people handled things differently to the laptop people. And you could find that it's a similar thing with Gigabyte. It also depend on the region. And we've seen that with MSI, like our local MSI representatives are great. They do a fantastic job. They take the sort of critical stuff that we do really well and look to improve the products. But then that may not be the case in other regions. And we've sort of, we've, we've seen that before with MSI, for example, so these big companies, it really depends on who you're talking to. And with LG, obviously, you know, Tim ended up getting onto the right people. And with the stuff we had with NVIDIA last December, I'm sure there were plenty of NVIDIA employees that were cringing and going, that was not the right way to handle that, or we would not have handled it that way and sort of saw the fallout coming uh, or, or would have predicted that. So yeah, it really comes down to the, the individuals that you're dealing with within the company or the or the departments. Yeah. And this is, again, it's, it's really key to have a, a good hierarchy in place that you can deal with these sorts of problems, because I'm sure 
that when Gamers Nexus discovered issues with the power supplies that, you know, them blowing up and all that sort of thing, your know, Gigabyte's going to go back to the people that designed those products and say, you know, what happened here? Why are our power supplies blowing up? And it's only going to be a natural reaction for those employees, the engineers to defend their work. Like, yeah. you know, that very, very natural. I'm sure if you have ever received criticism for your work and your field of work, that, you know, you're going to say, oh, well, I did this for this reason. That's that's why I did it. You know, here are my reasons. I'm going to, you know, defend my job, basically. And then mm-hmm. the, the hope is within the company is that you have people in between the media and those employees that can deal with that message. So they can take what the mm-hmm. engineers are saying and sort of manipulate that into, okay, well, the engineers said that they designed it for this reason, but, you know, that turns out to have been flawed, blah, 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 blah. We're going to do our best to fix it. So you really do need those people at all steps of the company to you know, manage the message for you. And again, if you don't have the right person, that middle person in between the media and the engineers, then you know that, that media, per, media representative may not be trained in what the exact issues are. They may not even really know what's going on. They're just going on the reports from their lower level employees. So yeah, you need a really good company structure to work with this, and I'm sure Gigabyte will learn and you know improve in all those areas. Or at least I hope so. And yeah, try and salvage some of their reputation that they've lost from this incident. 